basic soldering tutorial, iron care, tinning, and PCB soldering. The first thing you need to do is turn the iron on. It should only take a few minutes to warm up. Make sure that the sponge is damp. The sponge has to be damp so you can wipe off the excess solder off the iron tip. Now we need to tin the tip. The second thing you should do after you turn on the iron is put some solder on the end of the iron. This will help the heat flow from the tip of the soldering iron to the component lead that you are trying to solder. Next you need to place the component into the board. You put the connecting wires or leads of the component into the circuit board. Then bend each of the leads so it will stay in place. When you have the component carefully placed onto the circuit board, you can try to solder. Hold the soldering tip of both metal surfaces you want to solder together. Then apply solder as needed to make a clean solder connection. A good soldering joint should look like a volcano. A bad soldering joint has uneven edges and globs of solder around the lead of the component. Be careful not to apply too much solder because it could connect two parts together that should not be connected. You can use solder to do other things besides for soldering components. Solder is also used for tinning wires. This is useful to if you have loose wires and you need to connect them. First twist the wires. Place the iron under the wire and melt the solder from the top. This allows the solder to bind the small wires together. After a little practice, you should be an expert. Once you get the feel of soldering, there is no end to your success.